The Queen's visit to Australia seemed unaffected by the controversy surrounding the Governor-General. Her Majesty was officially farewelled by Dr Hollingworth at a ceremony in Brisbane this afternoon. In weather more befitting the Queen's homeland, 30,000 Queenslanders huddled under umbrellas, some for hours. But as if on schedule, the clouds dried up in time for the royal arrival. She looks beautiful in a lavender, doesn't she? It seemed raining on this parade was simply not allowed. Your Majesty, welcome to the Sunshine State. The small talk in the crowds quickly turned from the weather to the royal couple. The thousands who turned out were not disappointed. The Queen and Duke taking time to enjoy the company and share a few words with well-wishers. She just said thank you and she appreciates it. She was really happy to be here. Yeah. That's how she made me feel. She made me feel like a queen. And the feeling apparently mutual. I would like to express my gratitude to you all for the warmth of the welcome Prince Philip and I have received at every stage. She's been smiling. She has, I think, enjoyed this very much. More smiles at church this afternoon after leaving the cathedral once the base of former Archbishop of Brisbane, Peter Hollingworth, and the controversy surrounding the now Governor-General caught up with the royal tour. But despite the local furor, royal watchers travelling with the Queen say she's shown no sign of being embarrassed by the Governor-General's predicament. The Queen's Australian representative farewelled her this afternoon in a formal ceremony, bringing the five-day tour to an end in the same way it had begun. Emma Griffiths, ABC News, Brisbane. The argument over what the Commonwealth should do about Zimbabwe